so I've not done a video in uh, quite a while so I thought hey why don't I just do this one where I'm here again at VCA Enfield getting a blind purchase let's see is it any good wish me luck Well there you have it, 95,000 mile Lexus CT200 Hybrid, it's got 11 main dealer stamps and it's just been serviced at Lexus, but mechanically it might be great, bodywork is not, let's just get it over and done with, look at the front here, really poor boss job before and again it's had a little, another prank and someone's had a really poor job at touching that in, made it even look worse, should have just left the scuff as it was a bit of yellowing to the headlights as per normal tires are really good on this side you see look the paint is a bit dull it needs a proper proper polish it is absolutely matte as anything you can see look look, look at the so I suspect it may have been painted at some point and this has got that deep pearl look to it so it's going to be a hard job trying to get that back to perfection and at the back it's much better there's a little bit of an imperfection there look but well having said that there's a bit of an imperfection there as well so it looks like a rear bumper job is uh, on top of everything else oh dear this is not turning out to be the great car I thought it was going to be it's well maintained but it's got these annoying pesky little bodywork blemishes that I have to deal with let me see I'll just try and work something out but look the boots nice a little bit small but well proportioned in good condition with loads of nice premium mats on this side at first glance I thought wow really nice but then look a little bit lower and you see bit of a crease so more paint needed doing so I've got I've got front bumper rear bumper two doors here and potentially the two doors there four five six panels uh oh this screams trouble all the discs and pads are good again a bit of yellowing on there nice pearl white so from here it looks nice and presentable but there's these annoying, annoying little blemishes all around. This is really bugging me. Thankfully, it's got a cat lock. Interior is absolutely stunning, though. Look at that. Superb interior. Really, like, new condition. So it looks like only really the driver's seat has been sat in because everything else looks untouched look at that shall we have a look at the back check it out look door cards the rear seats look oh, that wasn't me that was the lorry okay I don't want you thinking I've got flatulence look at that fantastic and boatload of paperwork in a folder when someone keeps it in a folder and they even mark it like this you know you know it's a good person that's looked after and cared for this car maybe they're not the best driver in the world with these little marks all around the bodywork but overall not bad but it's not going to be the money spinner I thought it was going to be so it owes me just over, I think about 6,300, 6,400 quid. It's supposed to be an eight grand car, but with the paint job, etc., it's, oh goodness. I'll be lucky, uh oh, what's this? Uh, that's all right, that's not through the paint. I can sort that out. 
Okay. With all the work that needs doing on it, I'll be lucky if I can make like three to five hundred pounds on this car, which is a crying train, considering how lovely it is. Do you know what? I might just price it up a little bit higher because once I get the work done, it looks stunning. It's in the most sought after colour, which is white, and it's got full main dealer history. All the wheels, everything. Look, brand new rear tyres fitted. It's got the cat lock, so you've got the security there, and the interior is in cracking condition. So, here's to hoping I'll get the work done and uh, I'm gonna aim, I think, for around six to eight hundred quid on this one. It should have been over a thousand pounds, but you can't win them all. It just needs a little bit more bodywork than I thought. I thought it was just going to be this front bumper and, uh, and a little bit of a polish on these two doors. The looks of it, got to do the front bumper, rear bumper, possibly these two doors and definitely the lower half of the other two doors. So probably need about 600 pounds or six, 700 pounds in paint uh, costs alone. Thankfully there's no maintenance uh, issues with this because uh, that's all done at Lexus. So uh, you win some, you lose some. Overall, happy with the purchase. Am I totally happy? No, because uh, not got the margin I thought I'd get. But hey, lovely car, huh? What a stunner. A few moments later. So there you go. Here are the results. After 700 pounds down, look at the paintwork, it's lovely. So on this passenger door and the rear door and around here, what I've had, I've got away with it. It didn't need paint. What it needed is a good buff. As you can see, it is lovely. There's no mismatch dullness in the color paint there and then I've had the full front bumper resprayed and it looks stunning look at that fantastic and then of course we had the dents here all fixed up looks so much more presentable now and then there were a few marks on the back here and to be honest with you, it was just bothering me, so I did have the rear bumper all resprayed as well. So as you can see, front and rear bumper done. These two panels wet sanded and polished. And then these two panels dents pulled out, a little bit of filler. Then both panels were painted and then so were this and the rear quarter just to make sure it matches nicely because obviously the front and rear bumpers have been uh, sprayed so we wanted to make it look nice and as you can see has come out fantastic well pleased with that only problem is not going to be pleased with the old uh, bank balance when it comes to profit on this car so because I've just had to sink in something like 700 quid on the old bodywork. Literally, I'll be lucky if I can make about 500 quid profit on this one, which considering you're looking at an eight grand car, eight and a half grand car, it's not really that great when you take into consideration the amount of hours, man hours gone into this, and I still haven't sold it yet so there's going to be more hours that go into that but hey ho it's got to be done proper and now she looks stunning it was bothering me so much so outside looks nice interior now it has always been nice and it's fully maintained at lexus what more can you ask for fantastic there you can subscribe and i'll see you on the next one Ta -da.